All right, let's do this, guys. So let's create the best pizza ever, mankind ever made. What? Does that make sense? I don't even know what that even makes sense. <laughs> but it's hot in my house, guys. I got a bowl here. We got three cups of zero zero flour. So a lot of you guys are like, hey, Quan, next time you make pizza, buy zero zero flour. Why am I looking at you like that? But look, we got the zero zero flour. But it's in, uh, I think it's in, oh, no, no, right here. See that? Zero zero flour. So I'm not sure what, what the zero zero flour is, but I heard it's for pizza. Okay, so. Let's see if I can see the difference or taste the difference. Three cups of zero zero flour here. You can use plain white flour if you don't have zero zero flour, but I got this at Costco Business Center, right? I love Costco, guys. <laughs> like legit, I got this at Costco here. <laughs> I got this at Costco. Like this rack here, Costco. These little bowls here, Costco. This burner or burner stovetop thing here, Costco. This random cooler here, sitting out of nowhere, Costco. This dartboard, Costco. These pepper shaker, Costco. These little plates here, Costco. This kitchen aid, Costco. All this in here, Costco Business Center, right? So it's not really from, it is from Costco, but these pans here, Costco. This little rack here, Costco. This crock pot, Costco, guys, legit. This, not from Costco, but this under here, this walk here, Costco, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. This is from Costco as well, right? These random chairs, Costco. This bowl flex here, I got it from Costco, guys, legit. This rack, Costco. These bread pan, Costco. Guys, this liner here, Costco Business Center, all right? These big pots, guys, Costco Business Center. These two burners at Costco uh, Business Center, too. This thing, Costco. This shirt, rough dress, Costco. These shorts, Old Navy, but my underwear is from Costco. Sorry, guys, got a little sidetracked. <laughs> so, three cups of zero zero flour here. You can use plain white flour. I got a tablespoon of sugar here. We got half a tablespoon of sh uh, sh salt here. We got, let's go, a teaspoon of oil. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A tablespoon of yeast here. Got this from Costco, business center. <laughs> okay, mix this in. Mix this in very well. Once you got it nice and mixed and all infused together, turn it on. We're gonna dump in. One and a half cup of water. There's warm water. Or you can do cold water, it don't matter because we're gonna throw it in the fridge anyways. We're gonna add it in slowly, all right? And we're gonna mix this for about 20 minutes. The same people that are really hating, the same people that are hating on Hawaiian style pizza are the same people who love eating charcuterie, all right? You guys like that sweet and salty, savory, type deal in your mouth, right? It's exactly the same as a Hawaiian style pizza, right? Don't come at me with that. Miss me with that. Come on, my G. Come on, my G. Miss me with that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cover this, throw it in the fridge for about six hours. Minimum, all right? All right, this dough legit, guys, has been sitting for about two days. I just wanna see how tasty it'll be. For some reason, I feel like it's not gonna be tasty because of the, what, the yeast. It's gonna taste, I wanna say in my opinion, it's gonna taste more alcoholy. Is that word? It is now alcoholy. <laughs> because of the yeast has been fermenting for a while. So two days, here we go. We're just gonna get half a thing because that's all we need. Look at that beautiful, clean cut. I just don't wanna say anything no more, guys. Haters just gonna hate, that's all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll this pizza dough into a nice ball here. Okay. Boom. Let's flatten it out. Maybe a nine inch pan. Yeah, 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 Right onto our pizza sheet. We're just gonna stretch it out so it just hits the pizza sheet like so. Legit, guys. I'm so tired. Because <laughs> yesterday we did uh, the feast, but today we're making pizza. Okay, nice pizza right here. Nice and rolled out. Okay, Saz Marzano's tomatoes. Nothing too crazy, guys. Just the best. <laughs> Mushroom and pepperoni was a classic, but have you heard about this? The best Hawaiian pizza ever. <laughs> I'll show you what it has. It has 
Chase. Big shout out to Brian for introducing me to this beautiful creation here. Jalapeno pickle. Are you following along? Are you following along? Next, we got jambon, or in Eng or in French or in English, ham. <laughs> French is jambon. Pineapple. I have a pen. I have. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. Mmm. Pineapple pen. I have a pen. I have pineapple. Mmm. Oh, yes. I know you know that song. Okay. Oven's pretty good at 550. Here we go. Second rack from the bottom. Throw it in. I'm going to say I throw it in for about 10 to 12 minutes. Keep it on it. 12 minutes in. Remember, this is the zero zero flour, right? Oh. oh man, that looks really good. Look, puffed up really nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Ow! Careful. Oh, man, that is crusty. Oh, that's just beautiful. Order 69. Orders up my G. Alright, here it is, guys. The most rave pizza here in my city. Moist Lips Pizza established today. My man. <laughs> okay, here it is. Oh shoot! Got a little excited there. Look at this. That's a pizza. Keep in mind, this is the zero zero pizza uh zero zero uh dough here. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie, it looks delicious. Oh man, it's a little too hot. That's okay. Look at this. I just want to check out that crust though. Look at that crust though. Look at this. Look at that crust. Guys, bite on this. Quick tie. He's got it. Nice. Okay. I want to get through this pizza, but I want to get into this crust here. Look at this. Pineapple or extreme pineapple pizza. Soup off this. Mmm. If you love pineapple pizza or Hawaiian style pizza, you're gonna love this pizza even more. And if you don't like Hawaiian pizza, you gotta try this topping. You're gonna fall in love with Hawaiian style pizza. I promise you. Ow! Oh! Be careful. Mm. I won't get to this part. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know that's fire. This crust has been sitting for two days. I want to see the taste or the different taste of it. I was going to bite it in first. Mmm. And compare it to uh, this all-purpose flour. Look at this. Should I peel it away? Oh man, that's a crust you want. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. See the bubbles? I got. Mmm. I thought it would be more um, alcohol-y taste, but it doesn't have a slight alcohol taste. It has like some flavors. No, not some. I'm going to say some flavors. It has a lot of flavors. Not the alcohol taste. That's what I was trying to say. Look at the pockets. I'm coming after you, Italy. You say you have the best pizza? I'll say this. The best pizza will live in Canada, all right? <laughs> the best pizza will live in Canada. It's beautiful. What I change about this? Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. Maybe less on the toppings. <laughs> yeah. That crust is amazing. Some may not like the crust or um, the toppings. Because you guys are sheep. <laughs> but that crust though, legit. Oh wow. I should make a cheese bread just doing this. You know? Keep it nice and simple. Mmm. 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 Don't mind the toppings, right? Just look at the crust. I'm about the crust right now, right? Yeah. That's a beautiful crust. I seen the thing at Costco. Propane fireplace oven. I think I'm gonna get it just to try it. I'm gonna slide my pizza dough into it. Let's see how it comes out.